my version of Leon Redbone's version of Marie the Irving Berlin classic. If you're interested in the tablature, please do open the video description below for more information. Uh, <clears throat> I try to get as close as possible to Leon's rather quirky style of guitar playing and it involves a lot of muting and accenting of the second and fourth beat to get a really good swing feel. What the left hand uh, concerns, there are no, no big problems there. Uh, it stays pretty much in the first position. And uh, so let's start with the introduction. Slowly. That was a full page of tap, a rather long introduction. And let's go over it. So we're starting with a single string run. Da, 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 hit. Da, 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 C. And notice how I'm muting after I pick the strings there. Second bar. We're in a C chord, but uh, <clears throat> and we keep 
be alternating bass there, well partial. Like that. And here in that fourth bar is a good example of that muting. So I'm playing the C chords. Alternating bass is simply. But I'm muting the second and the fourth beat and playing it hard enough so that the open G string also rings, but mute it immediately after that. And the third beat, I play the, with my index the open G string. C chord. Walking down. G chord with a bar, uh, sorry, with a uh, temp wrap. I think that is the best thing because with uh, that will be hard anyway. And Leon also plays with a temp wrap, which is the easiest thing, I think. So, bar six. Bar seven. Notice that the alternating bass uh, <clears throat> doesn't go on there in bar 7. We have it. Like that. And then to a D7. In bar 10 we see one of his favorite moves when he plays D7. And we're leaving the chord for a, a beat there. So bars 10 and 11. Again, we're staying in D7, bars 12 and 13. Sorry. And back to our G with a quick hammer on there. And back to our D7. Bars 14 and 15. Back to a G. And then we go up with D7, B flat 7, and the E7. That move one more time, bar 16 and 17 and on. Anticipation in the bass there, <clears throat> and it brings into the next beat, bar 18. Bars 19 and 20, we're doing the same as uh, the first bar. And you can play this with a either slide or hammer on. The easiest thing is the slide. And then it's important that the last beat of bar 20 you play it with the open, what with the temp, the open G string. And also the slide, of course, on the fourth string, uh, also with the temp. Bars 20 and 21, one more time. Back to our G. Also, again, the, <clears throat> the alternating bass uh, is left for what it is, and we go to a more monotonic bass for a couple of uh, beats, but just to accent uh, the rhythm there. And back. 
back in bars 26 and 27 to our D7. Bars 26 and 27, one more time. Play it slowly, it doesn't make much sense. And although <clears throat> when you listen to the vocals, it's, it seems like a slow song, but it's, it's quite uh, play, fast playing. Uh, for the guitar there. And back to our uh, G chord, uh, second page of the tap, the top bar 30. vocals and if you can't sing that low well capo up so you can manage that <coughs> uh, <coughs> <coughs> sorry the accompaniment is also <coughs> very muted <coughs> with some accenting where there are no vocals so we're starting with a C <coughs> sorry the singing starts on bar 30 33 30, uh, put some line on it There and accent the bass. Da, 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 da. Here we're leaving the, the, the D7 chord. I'm not gonna well tell every chord now, you can see that in the tap as well. Accent uh, the bass notes there. Um, on the moon. Sorry. Then we have a solo <clears throat> where I do some scat singing. You don't have to do that, but Leon does it so well. Da, 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 Thank you. 
we are again. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> there are a few difficulties here in that in the solo, and I think, uh, well, the most unusual is uh, bar 76, where I'll play bar, bar uh, 75 first. <laughs> D7 there and back to our normal D7 and the rest is pretty much the same as uh, before we also have in bar uh, 80 there again we anticipate the bass in bar uh, 82 and let it ring into the next beat and then start again. One more time. And note how I keep the sounds sometimes short like. And then it's done with the picking fingers I mute there after I picked it. something he does very frequently the D7 and he goes with his uh, index to the second fret of the second string notice that I'm I'm more accustomed to uh, grabbing my when I have a, a bar chord or well a temp rap chord I play the first two strings with my index. I place it in the middle. And this leaves the, your pinky free, in my case anyway, in my hand. If I have to bar that, the first three strings, then, then I'm, <clears throat> I have to move my hand like that and it's rather uncomfortable for me. So I, I'm used to playing like that, or the F also, the F chords. And if you look at Lightning Hopkins with his big hands, he plays his E always. He just his second finger barring, well, fretting the uh, the fourth and fifth string. So he never uses his pinky. For the E7, he goes like that. And even for the long A chord, he does that. Ouch. <laughs> so uh, I guess that's about it. Oh, yeah, we have the end phrase. Da, 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 da. And then slide up to the up and then harmonics and like that. There's also a small variation when I start uh, do the verse a second time. For bar 20, uh, sorry, uh, 34, I do like that. And keep it short because otherwise it doesn't sound cool. All right, that's it for uh, Marie. Also, the tap is four pages. Uh, it's not that hard. And, well, it's the same all over, all over again. Except for the introduction where he really goes uh, to town in some places, I think. Uh, really cool stuff. Takes a while to get it in your fingers, especially the muting. And uh, the accenting of that second and fourth beat is very important to get into his style. All right, have fun. <laughs>